Hello, friends, and welcome to our story time from today. My name is Miss Afton, and our story today is actually from our live preschool story time this morning. We did have some technical difficulties with internet working properly today, so our video ended up being a little choppy. So just to, to make sure that everyone could properly hear this story, I'm going ahead and re-recording it today. And we'll talk about some of the things that we talked about during story time as well. So our book today was Hello Ninja, written by N.D. Wilson, with art by Forrest Dickinson. And this book is actually a Hoopla book, which means that it is free to borrow with your library card on one of our e-catalogs. And the cool thing about Hoopla is that everything that's on there is always available, no wait lists. So that's our plug for parents. But to start our story today in story time, we talked a little bit about what we knew about ninjas. Now, we had some sneak attack beeping when we woke up our bellies in a song before we read our book, and we talked about how ninjas are good at sneak attacks. We also talked about ninjas' clothing. So you can see this ninja has a special hat and mask and outfit. Now, we agreed that some ninjas wear different colors, like they might wear white or blue. Someone suggested pink, and they even wear black when it's dark outside. But we weren't sure what else ninjas did. So this story, Hello Ninja, will help us to find some of the really fun things that ninjas do. We have, Hello Ninja. And it starts with the boy climbing up into his treehouse. Then we bow and say, hello, ninja. Yes, hello. We asked, what do ninjas do all day? So he's running out on the tree branch to start an adventure. Ninjas hop, ninjas chop, hi-ya. Ninjas love to belly flop. And we agreed that while this looks fun, it might not feel the best. Ninjas scamper here and there, and ninjas love to cut your hair. So we were surprised that ninjas are good at cutting hair. The cat looks very impressed. Then ninjas dance, ninjas prance right over the crocodiles. Ninjas train the king of France. Ninjas pose upon their toes every time a blizzard blows. And we enjoyed the ninjas posing as well. We even had one friend who said he liked to pose like ninjas when it snows too. Whew, too cold for me. The bravest ninja finds a foe to help his ninja legend grow. So we agree that foes are enemies or people that you can play fight with. And our ninja's foe is a mail carrier who he set a trap for. Then a messenger who knows kung fu, a sneaky thief who's hungry too. The ninjas dodge and ninjas spin and show those foes how ninjas win. So they were fighting the squirrel while this cat snuck up behind and got the sandwich. They never break, they barely bend, but even ninja days must end. And when a ninja sent to bed, he saddles up a dragon's head and flies away into the night to chop ha, and dance until it's light. So here the ninja is going to sleep, but the story tries to restart with, hello, ninja, shh, not yet. Ninjas ninja hard all day. They need to sleep before they play. and then the dragon is off for another adventure, and it starts again. So at the end of our story, we talked about some of the things we saw the ninjas do. So this special ninja really liked to dance and cut hair and sneak up on people, and we agreed that sneaking up on people is a really good ninja skill. So I hope that you enjoyed our story today. 
Hello Ninja, and that you are able to have some fun ninja adventures of your own. All right, friends, have a great day, and thanks for joining us with Preschool Storytime today. We have our live story time on Zoom every Thursday at 11. Bye, friends. Yay!